It smells like beef noodle up here, like it smells like fur. Hi, I'm Ads. And I'm Bessie. Welcome to our channel. Today, we have a treat for you. Yes, we do. We are cooking Thai yellow curry baked whole fish. Ooh. Some things to know. One, we've never cooked a whole fish before. No, we haven't. Two, it's not reviewed, so we thought it'd be a great idea. Mix up the proteins. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. You know, that funky fish smell always gets me. And I don't usually eat too much fish, but yeah. To quote my mother, you'll eat what I cook. <laughs> um, no, seriously, like, the picture looks amazing. It, it looks pretty good. It looks amazing. So we're going to try and combat it. Take it on, do the same thing, hopefully it works, and follow directions as we do in all our other videos. Yep. We have a snapper here as per the directions in the recipe. Mm -hmm. I did ask the man to descale and gut it for me. Um, highly recommend if you go to your local fish market or um, super, supermarket. Fish one, though. Yeah, you know, a supermarket with a fish section. You ask them to do the same. There's no point taking home doing all of yourself when you don't have to and the service is free. <laughs> yeah, so ask a fishmonger, descale, de gut, de everything that you don't need. Yeah, Ooh, looking into its eyes before. I do not recommend. Don't look in fish advice. It's advice for the, the life, babe. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you want to do is line a baking tray with baking paper, which we've done. We've done it. And here, we've prepared one out the other. Yeah, I feel like Huey. So what you want to do is get a bowl to combine all the ingredients. Today, our ingredients combiner will be as... Oh, I'm an ingredient combiner. I'm, okay. I'm a supervisor. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. That stinks. You will place into the bowl one third of a cup of curry paste, 400 ml of premium coconut cream. You want to combine four lime leaves finely cut, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of fish sauce, um, and you will want to combine it. It says to place it into a frying pan, but what we're gonna do is combine it in a bowl and then place it into a frying pan. Okay, so then you're gonna get your mixture and heat it over a medium heat in a frying pan. Cook stirring for about seven to eight minutes or until thickened and aromatic, and then set aside to cool. Alright, so we've cooked the sauce, now we set it aside. To cool. Yep. And what do we do in the meantime? Place the fish on a prepared tray. Use a sharp knife to score three times on the thickest part of the fish on both sides. So that would be this section. The midsection. Yeah, so three times. So I'd, I'd probably like lift the thinner. This, I'd be like one, two, three. Alright. Uh, um, I don't know if your knife is sharp. Okay, you're gonna want to go a little bit deeper because you're gonna want the curry to get in there and, and make it all the length. Yes, boss. What happens if you eat what I tell you? You know, I've got to make it. Perfect. I think that's like how it should be. Like, like massive gills. Oh, fish eyes. Ah, yeah. stay there. Because you're right handed, I highly suggest moving the tray upside down. You're a genius. 
and then you will be able to do it the same we, way. We didn't actually prepare that earlier. That wasn't like. So now that the sauce has had time to cool, we're going to put three quarters of it on the outside of the fish, one quarter of it on the inside cavity of the fish. I'm not looking forward to that part because it freaks me out. So the reason we used a spoon like this is so we could put the spoon mixture basically on the fish and you want it like in the... Turn it over. You want it? Yeah. Okay. Turn it over. supposed to. Okay. And put it inside the fish too. Oh. Hopefully your fish man has gutted everything in your fish and you can just put it inside the fish like we're doing now. Alrighty, now that it's coated, we're going to cover it and we're going to place it in the fridge for half an hour, let it cool down, let everything get to know each other, and then off into the oven it goes, but after that half an hour. Alrighty, what time is it? It's time to cook the fish. So, the fish has been in the fridge for about half an hour. We've preheated our oven to 200 degrees fan force. It's 220 if you don't have a fan force oven. Yep. So now, 20 to 25 minutes, you said, yes? 20 to 25 minutes to cook the fish, so we need to put the fish in the oven, so that'll be your turn. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Yes. And then while the fish is cooking in the oven, I'm just gonna quickly make some boiled rice. That's what the recipe says to have with it. How's it looking? Let's show the camera. Looking pretty solid. It's looking pretty covered. It's looking like a fish in curry, to be honest. Yeah, it, it's looking uh, pretty solidified, like the, the sauce doesn't big. move. Yeah. And I think that's the idea behind it, by putting it in the fridge. All right, time to go in the fridge. Uh, all right, time to go in the oven. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm just going to make some rice. Do you want to come on ingredients into a bowl? I sure can. Uh, just a quick note, when you're cutting your chilies as well, just make sure when you DC, wash your hands after. Off camera, I touched my eyes and I didn't even descale. I saw a chili on the side. He felt the burn. My eyes are on fire. Alrighty, while well, Bessie's got the rice going on, I'm combining all the ingredients. Alright, so combine two thirds of a cup of coriander, half a cup of basil, your two shallots, and your two red chilies. And combine. Woo. Maybe use a bigger bowl. No, that's right. Unless you like pepper. Wow. Do you just put I think a chili it back in your eyes? Ah. <laughs> Alrighty, make sure you have your gloves on. We're about to take the fish out of the oven. Maybe you guys in the comments can tell us who you thought played it the best. I know a bit of skin never killed anybody, but I know bones, sure, I'm sure a bone has. Yeah, let us know that mine is better. Oh, whatever. Okay, All right. so now Very it's cheers. time for us to try. That was pretty flavorful. God, the fish is good. It doesn't taste fishy at all. Snapple no. was a really good choice. It's got a little kick to it, doesn't it? Mmm, that's a bit of, um, bit of rice, bit of fish. Not like a, it tastes a bit like a Penang, but with fish. And it's really strange because the fish is actually really nice. It doesn't taste fishy or seafoody. It just tastes really nice and fresh and kind of like what fish should taste like. But it's got a bit of a kick. I will say that. Not extremely. Uh, just so everyone knows, Bessie can't handle heat in, in anywhere in the slightest. So I can. I eat the spiciest foods known to man, and she will not go near them. I got my water, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See. But I do think it's actually really nice. Like, for what I thought, like, for no one reviewing it as well. Like, it's pretty good. It's better than I thought. Like, Way uh, better than I thought. I thought it was going to be a fishy disaster. I don't know if it's just because we're hungry, too. I think it's Maybe great. It's, huh? it's a really good recipe. It's really straightforward. Great, great method. Oh, yeah. Um, and the fish is nice and flaky. 
It is pretty flaky. I think that comes with snapper. Though, and it? soft. Like, it's like melting your mouth fish. Let me give it another try. So much could have gone wrong, but it was actually really easy and I'm really surprised. Mm. In terms of a cold curry fish, what are your thoughts? I think it's pretty good. I think it turned out much better than I was expecting. Much better. I wasn't expecting much because I'm not a big, like, bone-in proper fish. Like, if it's a fillet, I'm like, cool. Mm. I can do it. When it's a whole fish, kind of freaks me out. I've never done it before. We've never done it before. We did pick a medium snapper, if you are interested, not yep. a small snapper. And you'll see the bones are so big mm. that when you flake it apart, it was actually really easy to pull them out. Yes. Like, I know some fish have really small bones and it can be quite annoying, but this fish was actually really good. Like, I just used something with a fork and knife. I just spread it apart a bit and I could pick out all the bones. I haven't eaten any yet. I thought that was really good. Yeah, I haven't eaten any either. Mm. I think it's got a nice spice level if you're after something. It's very reminiscent of Vietnamese food for me. Mm. I think um, it's more Thai. Yeah, and I don't know if it's I because it's, it's Thai uh, basil. It's probably a bit of that. But it could yeah. be the lime leaves. But yeah, I, I, I really like it. I'm going to give it a five. I'm going to give it a five out of five as well. I, I can't fellowship it for what it is. If you wanted a whole curry fish recipe... I think this is a really good one to do, and I think people would be super impressed with it at a dinner party as well, yeah. just like the photo and the method set. Alrighty, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. It turned out pretty good. We're going to eat the rest of our meal and yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Show us some love. Um, mm -hmm. If you like this recipe, you'd like to see more like it, put it in the comments below. If you find a recipe that has no reviews and you want us to review it, in the comments below. Engage with us. Talk to us. We love it. I love it. We'll reply. Promise. Um, yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Until next time. See ya. Bye. Who the hell made shorts of things? Why is it swing up? Oh. I mean, yeah. Ah. Yes, it killed up from the heat. <laughs> it's giving us the finger. Mm. Ah. It still smells like fish. Ah. Ah. Ow, that's sharp. Hey.